home and I'm not there. Sucks to suck. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Alright, so we got the, uh, the band aid. Let's give it to her. Let's have a look at that figure. Let's oh. look. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's see. Let's do that. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee, you're such a good guy. Thank you. All right. So let's look back in this drawer because I'm thinking there's something might be in there. Nope, just the TV remote. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Oh wait, I still need the keys. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. All right, so where would the keys be? Um, possibly under the bedding. My parents came in here hoping to survive. It's like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe, or a protector. Oh, there's something up there. There's a TV. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Yeah, it's in the drawer. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's turn on the TV. Hopefully it's not loud. That's what I figured. Hey, this place has electricity now, so... It's the first aid kit. There's nothing over there. Uh, nothing in the cabinets. Okay. Anything else? Let's talk to her. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Nothing yet? Alright. How's your face? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. You can fix everything, bro. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Find that key. Where is the key? Come on. I don't think it's in there. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Hmm. Let's check. It might be under somewhere. Might be back out here. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, hell no. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Hopefully she doesn't remember that. Brainwasher not to remember. <laughs> I'm gonna grab that energy bar. Hopefully she's hungry. Alright, we already I'll asked about her no finger. Mm-hmm. Give you that bar. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Great. Yeah, Glenn, I come on! I saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Come hey, on, Glenn. Glenn. We'll talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I still need to find those damn keys. Take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. 
I still need to find those damn keys, though. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Took care of Clementine. All right. We still need to find those keys, which I'm pretty sure they'll be near the register somewhere. I can't go that way. All right. Let's go this way then. Central okay. High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Uh, let's see what about that. Around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Aha! Uh -huh. nothing. nothing. Volume? Nothing. Let's turn it down so that it's not blaring when we turn it on, because, you know, batteries, it always needs that. Boop! There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No. I can try <laughs> to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Oh, God. Alright, so we need to really, really, really... Uh, I don't want to check the cork board. What's up, Doug? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Want to step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. Huh. Alright. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I still need to find those damn keys. Where the where the hell are they? that noise yes let's use the remote control on the lock hey man what are you doing we can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure Think doesn't work do anything with this you know what I could do what's that Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I think I so. The codes now with an AV. Let's try. Oh, hey. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? There's a body over there in the light, so we might need to go check on that. I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Not enough yet. All right. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. They're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Is there something I can throw at it? Oh, yes. Can't reach that brick. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of them. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. 
get the brick, dude. Can't reach that brick. Oh, I need the cane. I need the cane. I need the cane. The cane will be able to reach it. Let's head back inside. Okay. I can't reach that brick. It's right there in front of the bars. Whatever. I also need to find batteries for her. I'm just gonna go get the cane first. I can't, okay, whatever. All right, there might be batteries around here somewhere. Not in there, Never mind. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. I'm just gonna go find those batteries. Clementine, stop following me! Jesus! You're so weird. Hey, batteries. Nope, energy bar. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, huh? It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. You're welcome. It's all melted now. Alright, so we need batteries. Hey, there's a battery. I got one. Okay, one battery. Greeting cards? Nope. That won't help. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Do our damnedest. Oh, there's another battery. Awesome. Now we're gonna go. Oh, there's another energy bar. We're gonna go pick that up. Go help with this. This battery should fit the radio. There we go. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. You're welcome. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Probably put the batteries wrong. Go ahead. Come on. Oh my god. There you go. Perfect. And now it shall work. You fixed it. Okay, that radio's dead. <laughs> Radio done for. Hey Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Got you, brother. How's Doug doing? What's the plan? Are you guys all right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Doug? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. She's a crazy one. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. 
they're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Yeah. Trying to let it go. It's okay, Kenny. We'll make this. We'll make. We'll get through this together. They're all sad. Stop being sad. Let's see. Can I please grab that cane? I really need it. Oh, it won't let me. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Are on that zombie out on the street. That's the door to the pharmacy. I want to get the cane. Get the cane. Get the cane. Okay, never mind. Don't get the cane. Alright, so. I'm going to give you a bar. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. It's all good, bro. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Already I was met just him. doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, it didn't help. The violence with him, with us. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, no. damn. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. <laughs> you? I work up at UGA. Uh, that got... Pharmacy. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Aw. Yeah. It's family. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Yep, they're dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Yeah, you better. Now I just need to go get that brick. If I can, please. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. What is that? Oh, I gotta talk to Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Damn. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Yeah. Notice my concern. Alright, we're gonna try and get that brick. How we doing? Wanna go have a look around outside? Why does this guy always want to go outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I can't reach that brick. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Yeah, reach the brick, dude! I can't reach that brick. How uh, uh, 
Can we not reach that? That's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, there's nothing really. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Is there anything else I can try and reach it? How did you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He just checked stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time like on the computer. No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Uh. I grew up here. Yeah. I've been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Real good people. Can't reach that brick. Dude, why can't you reach the brick? Let's head back inside. <sighs> Alright, whatever. I guess I need to go get the gasoline before everything else, I guess. All right, let's just go back. Hey, Connor. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. All right, time to go. Motel, Travelier Motel. Get down. Oh shit. I bet it's I bet it's Glenn. Guys. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We got to go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. <laughs> now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. Hopefully it wasn't too cold in there. Over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Yeah. Okay, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Hey, there's a axe right over there. Nothing else really. There's him. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's hard enough. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. The wizard attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Could go over there. We can hide by that pickup. We could. Alright, that one's right over there. We gotta kill that one first, but there is that other one over here. We should keep looking around for weapons. Well, we did. So something back over there, which I don't think. Oh, right here. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Go back over to the screwdriver and get it. They really want to get into that room. Yeah, they do. I think, I think that's how I have to get it. Is this way? What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. 
Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta put it over that one's mouth. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind 